Okay guys, so today we are making Mongolian beef. I've had many requests for this recipe. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna jump. You may not know this, but there is actually no authentic recipe for Mongolian beef because it is not an authentic Chinese dish. However, it definitely uses a lot of Asian spices and that is why it has been adapted into Asian cuisine around the world. Here I'm just uh, adding salt, a light amount of salt to our beef. I'm adding some Chinese cooking wine. I don't know if you can see that there, Chinese cooking wine. And I'll try to put the measurements in the comments in the description below. I'm also going to be adding some cornstarch. Cornstarch gets very messy, um, but it adds to the, the, the crispiness and the lightness of the meat. So here I'm adding, I'd say about three tablespoons of cornstarch. Don't want to use too much. In addition, I'm going to add about a tablespoon of sesame oil. Sesame oil is very strong. And so in this phase, we do not want to add a lot of sesame oil. I'm also going to be adding about a tablespoon of light soy sauce. Then I'm going to be using the egg whites of two eggs. We only want the whites. Just sometimes. Don't want the yolk in there because it changes the texture dramatically. I'm gonna add about a teaspoon of ginger, a teaspoon of white pepper, and a teaspoon of black pepper. We're gonna get our hands in and get all dirty. Gonna mix this all together. And we're gonna let this sit and marinate. Ideally, it should marinate for overnight, but because we're gonna be cooking this right away, I'm going to just let it marinate. I'm gonna add another tablespoon of the cornstarch just to make sure I have enough in there for when I fry. And I'm going to go ahead and I am going to set this to the side. I'm going to wash my hands and come back and I will show you uh, what we're doing for the sauce. Be right Okay, so while our meat is marinating in the little, you know, the seasonings, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna prepare the sauce for our beef. We're gonna start out with some soy sauce. That's about right. To this, we're going to add some hoisin sauce or oyster sauce, whichever you prefer. I'm also going to add about a teaspoon of cornstarch. A half cup of water, approximately a half cup of water. I'm gonna add a little more sesame oil. some ground ginger. And of course, for the sweetness, we're going to need some brown sugar. I'm 
Okay, so we're gonna mix this all together. And to our sauce, guys, I like to add a little sushi ginger liquid. Okay, guys, so our beef has been marinating for quite some time and now we're going to deep fry it and we're going to go ahead and add this our oil has been heating for a long time it is very hot you can tell it's hot because it gathers very quickly around the beef and you do not you do not want to cook the beef for too long because you don't want to get it tough or um, too crispy but you want it to have that nice golden brown color you see that? The oil is very hot, so we cannot have it sit for too long. Okay, that's the, about the color that you want it to get. Right there. And I'm going to finish frying up the beef, and I'll get back to you, okay? Okay, guys, so here are my brown beef pieces. We're getting ready to do the sauce. It's going to be delicious, guys. Okay guys, so let's talk aromatics. Here we have the tops of our green onions. We have some minced ginger. We have some sushi ginger and of course garlic. We're gonna go ahead and add this to our cooking oil. And you can use any type of non-fragrant cooking oil. Turn down the heat on that. And it smells wonderful. This is for our sauce, guys. Now we're ready to add in our liquids because our garlic is starting to get just a little brown. So we're going to go ahead and add the sauce that we've prepared. It smells so good in here, guys. We're going to turn down the heat on that. And we're going to kind of just let that thicken up a little bit. So I went ahead and added in our beef. We're not going to have this cook for long. The beef is already cooked. But what we are going to do is garnish. And we're going to add quite a bit of green onions. It smells so wonderful. And this is just about done, guys. We do not want our green onions to be mushy in any way so this is not going to cook for long I am just to stay true to Mongolian beef going to add some more red pepper flakes And that's it guys, that's our Mongolian beef. I'm gonna serve this up on the plate and I'll bring you back so you can see exactly what it looks like. All right guys, this is what we're looking like. Our fresh, tasty Mongolian beef. Thank you so much for joining Cooking with Shell. Please remember to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and hit notify so that you could be the first to know whenever I upload a new video. Thank you again for spending time with Cooking with Shell.